so proud of every all of our first responders that, that responded to this event. That uh, two suspects entered the residence through the backyard through a side gate, came into the backyard, and began randomly fired at, at people in the backyard. Uh, there were approximately 16 male adults in the backyard with women and children in the house. It appears that just the people in the backyard were targeted uh, from the shooting. Uh, two suspects, we believe at least two suspects were involved as we had multiple calib caliber uh, casings found at the scene and um, they fled the scene. We don't know if they fled on foot or by vehicle. Uh, at this point, uh, when officers arrived, uh, there was uh, um, um, mass casualties. Uh, three were confirmed dead at the scene. Uh, six others were transported to the hospital, with a fourth victim dying in surgery at the hospital. Reacting to this incident last night, to put it in the context of gun control, are there any guns? Well, uh, obviously, we're still very early on. We're, we're only about 14 hours into the investigation. It still remains very fluid. We have detectives still speaking with people that were involved, uh, either as a witness, maybe next door, uh, anything where they potentially have could have heard or seen something. Our investigators are still speaking with everyone. So that's still where we are. We're still really in the fact-finding portion of this. We well, um, obviously it was a, a chaotic scene. It was a scene with a lot of violence. My, my first officers that were there were around uh, people that had either been shot or were standing close to someone that had been shot and a few that unfortunately had died right there at the scene. So obviously it's a scene of chaos, a scene of, of everybody yelling, screaming for help and my officers trying to figure out how do I help this. We are shocked right now. We are trying to figure out what's going on. The information hasn't all been released on who it was, but as we are finding out from family members who they are, we are shocked and and, and we you know we, we, we right now are just trying to figure out what to do, what are the next steps, how do we heal, how do we know what's going on? And uh, we're just trying to get in the light of things. You know, some things that we are concerned about uh, is just to, to, to stop that stereotype of, of, of gang violence in Hmong community. Um, as the chief had said over and over and over again, that these folks that were at the house were career-minded business individuals. And a lot of times we get painted in, in our community as being gang violence. Regardless if the perpetrators or suspects were gang members, I can say 100% that the people that were there, the people uh, that were having this and hosting this, were not affiliated with gangs, and they should not be painted that way.